I heard a story that um, was very interesting. There was a story of a, a young father who was holding a little infant in his hands three weeks when a tornado came through Illinois, Will County, Illinois. True story. And here's his father with his family in the, trying to shelter with his three-week-old infant, and the tornado hits them. And when the tornado was over, he found out he didn't have a home. His home was totally destroyed. His car had gone. All his furniture was missing. And he couldn't find his baby. And then the news report said he found his baby. His baby had kind of flown into the air and landed safely, three weeks old, in a field. Safe and alive. And he was reunited with his family and his wife and everyone else. And this young man, this young father was a Christian and, and he was not following the Lord. He was not walking with the Lord. He had filled his life with many things, but he was not walking closely with the Lord. And when they interviewed him, they asked him what had happened in the, in the weeks to come. What, what did this tell you? You lost everything. How do you feel? You lost your home, your furniture. And this young man said... He said, the storm brought perspective to my life. He said, I don't care about my furniture and my home. I don't care about anything. I have my family. And I have my little child. And I, I realized that God was trying to do something to get my attention. He wanted me to close to him. And he says, I see life in a different way now. He said, the storm had a purifying effect on my life. And that's what I want to speak about uh, tonight for a few minutes, uh, storms that purify us. And you know, you, know, you know, many times in our lives, and we may not be going through a storm right now, maybe there is a financial storm, or maybe you're struggling, but we may not go through storms every day, but sooner or later, every person goes through storms. And the one thing about storms is sometimes we can see them coming. We can say, oh, I'm expecting something to happen. And sometimes they just come in the night seasons. But storms, if you're a man or woman of God, you and I are going to walk through storms. Every Christian is going to walk through storms. Every church is going to have to walk through storms. But the good news about it, I love this, God has his way in the storm. In Psalm 148, verse 3, it says, stormy winds fulfill his purpose. Praise the Lord. And I think when we go to heaven one day, we don't like storms. We don't like when things are changing around us. But when we go to heaven one day, we're going we're gonna to understand that storms were actually our friends. Because they drew us closer to the Lord. And I don't understand everything about it. But I do know that every time I've gone through a, a stormy trial in my life, I grew more than when everything was good. Because the storm had a way to bring me closer to the Lord, break me. James chapter 1 verse 2 says, Count it all joy when you go through various trials, many-sided trials. For the trial of his faith is precious like gold to the Lord. It produces patience, endurance, character. The man who's approved in the trial will get a crown of life. But when we go through the storms sometimes, it's kind of interesting. When a ship is at the shore, at a port, and a storm hits, the first thing the captain will say is, drop your anchor. We're going to drop anchor. And we have an anchor. And in the middle of the storm, praise the Lord, we have an anchor in heaven. Jesus, who ascended, rose, ascended into heaven, and today is in the veil at the right hand of a Father who's praying for us. And, and thank you, Lord, that we have an anchor. And we look up to heaven and we say, praise you, Lord. You are praying for us. You live to make intercession for us. And thank you, Lord. The earthly anchors go into the, into the sea, but our anchor's in heaven. The earthly anchors keep you still, but our anchor says, in the middle of the storm, you can go forward. 